Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. God damn it, it's been a long time since I've seen you all. I have not posted a video on this channel in a very long time, but that's gonna change. I wanted to get the direction. I wanted to know exactly what I was going to do with this channel, and now I know why. So I guess this is uh, gonna be not only a haul, but a little bit of a channel update about what's going on with the dead couch. Um, had to make sure the mic was on. Okay, so I've decided with this channel, I needed to have a, uh, a distinct vision, a, a direction that really differentiated this channel from my other channel. And I've decided that this channel is going to be, uh, of course, all the physical media stuff. I'm gonna talk about all my physical media hauls and my collecting and that type of stuff over here. But when it comes to reviews, when it comes to movie series, me actually talking about movies, there is not going to be a movie discussed on this channel that came out after after the year 1999. Everything on this channel is pre-2000s, 90s, and before. This is going to be a place to talk about only retro favorites. Now, there may be a couple of exceptions when I talk about uh, and review like a main, main horror franchise. I'll probably still do that on the main, cha the main channel, like when I eventually review uh, the entire Halloween series and Friday the 13th. Uh, those will be on the main channel, but this, this channel is going to be for the deep cuts, the forgotten B-movie classics, all of that uh, good retro shit. So that's the direction that I want to take uh, this channel on. So my It Came From The 90s series, which I've done a few episodes for on the other channel. I've done Brain Scan. I've done uh, Death Becomes Her. I've done, I don't know, a couple other movies. Uh, things like that will now be on this channel, and I really cannot wait to start talking about some retro movies. So uh, let me know in the comments below those retro throwback movies, the slashers, the creature features, all that stuff. Let me know down in the comments some deep cuts that you want me to talk about that don't get a lot of attention. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. But um, I hope you guys enjoy the future of the channel because I know I'm excited about it. So, uh, but today we're gonna talk about what I have in front of me. Now, now as far as my hauls, I'm not gonna keep all the hauls retro. I'm gonna talk about all the physical media that I get. That's gonna be an exception too. But uh, for the long form videos, the reviews and essays and stuff, that's gonna be retro. But of course, we're gonna be talking about some newer movies here too. So uh, to kick it off, we have 300, which Guys, I've never seen this movie. I've never seen 300. Uh, I got this crispy new, uh, this brand spanking new edition with this beautiful slip cover. So I can't wait to check this out. Um, I, I'm fully aware of its <laughs> uh, you know, popularity. I get it. It's just one that kind of slipped by me and I didn't see it. So uh, the next one I picked up also at Best Buy. I went looking, I went to Best Buy looking for the Northman and I couldn't find a copy near me. So that's what I really wanted to get. So um, I guess I ended up getting these instead. 300 was only like 11 or 12 bucks. It was pretty cheap. Uh, and I got this at a decent price too, Wolf of Wall Street, one of my favorite movies of all time. Probably my favorite Scorsese movie. I don't know if that's controversial or not, but that's easily my favorite uh, Scorsese movie. Um, uh, and then next up I got uh, Death Game, which Grindhouse releasing has been kind of dripping out these um, uh, waves of uh, uh, prints. I don't know how many more they're gonna do, if it's fully sold out yet or not. I'm sure a standard edition will come, but I'm glad I was able to pick up the one with the uh, cool embossed slip cover, and it's got a nice booklet, and uh, it's a really beautiful release for a movie that I've never seen. I like um, uh, Eli Roth's Knock Knock was based on this movie, so maybe down the line I'll do some kind of uh, uh, double feature review where I talk about both of them and compare them, but I love Knock Knock. Eli Roth's Knock Knock is definitely kind of an underrated movie in my opinion. I, I love that movie. There's some iffy, questionable acting from Keanu, but it's still so watchable that it's like, come on, man, it's such a fun movie. Um, the next one uh, is Cronewood. This one I actually got sent to me. Actually, both of these were sent to me from a subscriber. Uh, so thanks, Glenn. I can't wait to check these out. These are a couple of uh, uh, UK releases. We got Cronewood and This Is Not A Love Song. So I don't really know anything about these two. Uh, I'm looking forward to check them out. This one's, um, the, they look interesting, that's for sure. So uh, next up, Robocop 4K. I got hit with that double dip bullshit from these labels, you know? They just released these, the, uh, the Blu-ray, the 1080p edition, and then inevitably this one gets announced and we all have to pick it up and then we either keep the other one or sell it. It's such a pain in the ass thing. I wish they would just get the restorations together, release the 1080s and the 4Ks, just release them at the same time. People will buy what they want. 
um, it's just very, very frustrating. Um, the next one is all, I still love Arrow, don't get me wrong. Scream Factory, I don't have as much sympathy for. They're pretty egregious, but uh, uh, next up, Wild Things. I got picked up the uh, limited edition Wild Things. This is yet another movie I've never seen. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this one too. I know it's quite infamous for many reasons, uh, mostly most of those reasons uh, being, you know, some pretty uh, racy nudity scenes or whatever, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Uh, and then Extreme Prejudice. Uh, I've never even, to be honest with you, I'd never heard of this movie. I'm going to be real with you guys, but uh, the Vestron Collector Series is the first uh, boutique label that I've been able to get with slipcovers, number one, all the way till current. So I'm completely current with slipcovers. It's probably going to be the only label that I'll ever have that with. So um, I hope it's good. It looks, I've heard pr actually pretty decent things. So uh, I wonder if this has any reversible artwork. You know, these are not super, super fancy releases, but you get a nice slip cover. I, in my opinion, a higher quality slip cover than what Scream Factory offers, at least with the artwork most of the time. Let's see if we get some reversible artwork. No, no reversible, but uh, there is digital in there. So that's cool. Uh, not all of these come with digital, so that's, that's cool. So guys, that is it. That is my haul. It's good to see you guys again. I will be doing more of these for sure. I wanna, I'm not, I didn't forget about this channel. I'm not abandoning it. Um, I just wanted to really get a defined direction for the channel. So this is the retro channel officially. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Stay weird. Remember to always be yourself and I will see you in the next one. How sweet is this Creepo Rama shirt too? Don't sleep on Creepo Rama. They're putting out some amazing stuff. Anyway, all right, Pete, we're done. Bye guys. Bye.